computer oh. screen. All right, based on that, I'm going ahead and call the street committee. Committee. God, how come I can't say that? Street committee meeting to order for November the 15th, 2022. Okay, thank you. Very <laughs> good. So this is a pretty um, couple straightforward plat. The first one is associated with an actual vacation um, either that, that you all will, uh, will look at today under discussion and action. So this is kind of a companion plat. So. Uh, you know, if that passes, then, then the council can go ahead and take action on the plat. But uh, again, if it, if it doesn't pass, on, if the vacation doesn't pass under discussion action, then, then the plat wouldn't be valid. But it, again, I think, you know, uh, I think it still makes sense to go ahead and take action under under the committee mm -hmm. section for the plat. Yes. Yeah. And so, uh, so basically, we are out on North Franklin. Um, just a um, view of Patrick's Way. If you'll remember, uh, Patrick's Way used to to be closer to uh, to Waffle House. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, oh, I don't remember that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So, so as part of the North Franklin yeah. corridor project, we we put in this light and uh, and relocated Patrick's Way and. So basically, we're catching up uh, with that project and uh, and officially vacating a uh, portion of, of land right through here next to the Waffle House and and then dedicating the right of way. Um, and Mike has done a really nice job here. Uh, let me put <coughs> up the. Yeah. So he, he's taken the flat and placed it over the aerial. Here, so you can see, uh, basically, this is the area here that has been vacated, right next to the Waffle House parking lot. Oh, okay. And then, and then dedicated, we're dedicating this area through here. And it was my understanding, I remember, I read a while back that we kind of offered the Waffle House half of that. We gave them an opportunity to, to. So yeah, we'll take, but they didn't. They declined. They, they, did, they did decline. decline. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Right, saying. and that's kind of what has taken most of the time is okay. just to, to communicate with them to get sure. to get it square that yes, that they they did not want to participate, and and we, we did have several good conversations with them, and, okay. and they were supportive of, of the town taking okay. ownership. All right. So, so are we basically vacating? So vacating this area, okay. and then a little easier to see. Go ahead and pull up the flat. <clears throat> so the um, the striped area here would be vacated, okay. and then the relocated Patrick's Way right away is through here. Dedicating this area to right away. The, you could look at that. The, also, that's further to the left. Yeah, yeah. What is that? This here. Uh, yeah. So that that is area that is dedicated. This area still does belong to Bracala, which is food line. Mm -hmm. We're not worried about that. No, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then as the road continues through. Been talking to Brocalo about potentially if the connector road is to go through traffic circle back here, you know, for access back of the food line property, but that would still need to be designed. Tonight we're just looking to. To clean up the right of way. Okay. It, uh, 
the area that is now functioning as a And just in the history, so when we um, moved the road to where it is now, who owned that portion of the land? So uh, the town had purchased this acreage from Roger Woody. Um, Proceeds both Mike and I, but I think it was in the time frame. It was about 10 years ago or so. Okay. Yeah. So we, we have owned it for. for uh, did he not have some type of understanding agreement that he could leave his town out there for a certain period of time? Correct. Yes. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. And, and, that, and that's why that's why the oak tree sign so right. was out there. But, okay. Right. okay. I know it's been changed, but this can't. So much going on. This can't keep up with it. I'm getting older. Well, so this yeah, is this is the, <laughs> yeah. okay. the original parcel. Of it. Yeah. All right. I'm good with it. Very good. And um, then the, the next one is actually in the Corporate Research Center. Uh, corporate Research Center. The, uh, the, uh, the Falling Branch Corporate Center. And basically, it's this is kind of a continuation of. Um, of the uh, there was some right of way on technology drive, well, like actually on corporate drive. This is actually a, a street now that is going back yeah. through here, and, uh, and the um, uh, back country had dedicated some right of way to the mm -hmm. town right through here. Now the uh, the industrial development authority owns land here. And they are dedicating a similar area to us. It's a very small portion. Yeah. You may recall with the back country, they also yeah. had some easements to dedicate mm -hmm. to us. This is a bit more straightforward in that it is only right of way that's being dedicated. That turn, right? I remember we talked about this before. Yeah. We did it on one side and we talked about how we were going to have to do that same right of way right. area for that turn on the other side, exactly. right? Yeah. right? Exactly. Yes. It's about. Let me zoom in on it, but it's about 233 square yeah. feet. So, yeah. Just enough to make it. Yeah, enough to build the, huh. the radius on standards. Yeah. Like we are addressing which now? Just the. So basically, just uh, the plat that would dedicate this right of way. That little square. This little square, square to the town. Yeah, okay. Yeah in order to allow for us to accept corporate drive as they are proposing to build it. I don't have any questions about this. Anything else? Okay. Very good. Okay. That's it in a nutshell. Okay. I do have a question. Yes, sir. Betty Drive, mm -hmm. approaching Depot Street. We not at one time put a sign up telling people no left turn between certain hours. We did. Yes. Okay. I can check with PD. Okay. Because I thought we did. Yeah. I thought we did. Yeah. Yeah. We did. It is because some for some reason the other day I just noticed some cars were making left. Okay. There used to be a sign up there. And I, I couldn't recall the hours. I ran back today to make sure, and the sign itself is, is gone. <laughs> okay. So. Is the pole there? No. Oh. Well, I, when that was it on a single pole, or was it attached to an, another? I thought it was attached to. I thought it was attached to an existing pole. When that, there's, there's a there's a, a existing pole that says in the school zone. That's the other. Kind of says no left turn between whatever hours we have. I can't remember what it was. Don't to do it. Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Yeah. I, I think it's. Uh, yeah, there is one that said like in the school zone. Right these, on. uh, 
some of these were taken in the wall here. Yeah, right there. What, what's on that? Yeah. <laughs> Let me negotiate if I can get but there's enough sign that's up or pulled out when it says like in the school zone, but that sign <laughs> is sad to disappear. <laughs> Somebody did. <laughs> so you can tell we got the turn left. <laughs> Unless PD had had a separate conversation with the school, yeah. saying that it wasn't yeah, necessary, but I thought that yeah. that was something that we really did want to. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> um, nothing really has been bubbled up for the street committee recently. We will have um, at least one subdivision plot that I know of for this meeting between this and this. Thank you.